In this Flash and Action Script 3 lesson, which is uh, suitable for CS3 and CS4, we will demonstrate how to scroll uh, any of your content that you like. And actually, let me publish it out to the browser. And here it is in the browser. And when the user's mouse goes over the, the scroll dragger, it, uh, it lights up a different color or it moves to the next uh, button state and you can see if I hold down on the dragger and I move my mouse into the content it still scrolls the content when I let go it stops scrolling the content and it'll scroll it really nice cleanly and efficiently and what's really cool is you can put whatever you want inside of this uh, content movie clip that's being scrolled uh, pictures you can load external SWFs in there as long as you make room for it uh, but let's take a look at the FLA file so you can see how cool this is the way I set it up if you like math uh, you're gonna love this one uh, okay so the code is uh, commented pretty good there if you need uh, any more explanation on what it's doing get into the forums at develop PHP and uh, uh, first let me mention you can download this FLA file free from develop PHP if you uh, go to the page where the tutorials playing you there's a link about midway down where you can download the FLA file uh, that way you can get to it and take the lesson and and the FLA file itself is the lesson uh, so uh, once you get in it you'll see that in the code there's um, comments above uh, certain sections of importance there and it's all done with 35 lines of code um, and what happens is there's a uh, and like I said if you need help with the, the code you can go into uh, the forums of develop PHP and ask a question and somebody might get you an answer okay so uh, first thing we have is the scroll bar background instance name scroll bar BG and we have the scroll dragger instance name scroll dragger and then we have the mask for the content that way you can't see things that are scrolling outside of that area and then we have uh, here is the content to be scrolled on with the uh, instance name of content underscore MC and here we have just background cosmetics just to have your background look any way you want and so what happens is uh, this movie clip which is content underscore MC uh, can be as long as you need it to and inside of it there's a, a little uh, bottom placeholder and it's a little uh, rectangle primitive sitting there and you'd want to put it about an inch below where your content ends and that's it and then uh, what else do we have to tell you but yeah you can put whatever you like inside of that not just text not just pictures you can put SWFs animations whatever you like and uh, another really cool thing is if you look in the browser you'll see it it's at a certain size I think it's 200 pixels uh, let me see it is 263 pixels high is the whole thing and what I'm going to do is resize this to 150 pixels high so you can see now my dragger now if I publish out watch this it still works just fine and it's still within its bounds and it won't drag outside of the bounds and it it scrolls the whole entire uh, content movie clip there still uh, but you wouldn't really want to do that uh, what you would want to do is to resize this thing is then resize the mask for content you just drag it up or you can make it bigger I'm gonna make it smaller and then you take the uh, background cosmetics size them up to and uh, that's pretty much it and you publish out and looky there who's the man Adam is the man that's right and if you guys uh, so this could be as tall or as uh, 
as short as you need it to be and you can also do the same thing with the content move it all in this way so it can be a little more narrow so say you wanted it to only be as, about half as wide as it is you just move that mask move that background cosmetics in get your text all lined up to where it's a little thinner in there your uh, content movie clip and you're good to go um, let's see in the code like I said there's a lot of math going on we uh, find out some uh, values for the uh, properties of the positions of uh, certain things here and here and also with the mask is also involved there and uh, let's see see your mask has the instance name of content mask and that's pretty much it if there's anything you can't figure out about it uh, just head into the forums and we'll let you know okay we'll see you next lesson